Hey kids, welcome to Unit 4, Lesson 3, Nested If Statements, Exercise Number 1. We have an investigate and modify. Run the program to observe the results. Then experiment with the program by making the following modifications. Change one line at a time. Then run the program after each change to observe the results. Then it looks like we have three things here to do. Before we get to that, let's look at our code. In my console, we're instantiating a new object, my age, from the age checker class. Then we're printing off my age and calling the check age method and passing 20 along. Let's look at age checker. We have just one method in age checker. It is a string, takes one parameter age. We have two if statements. This is a lot like our for statement from the last unit. This is a nested if statement. That means if we're under 18 but over 13, we should return teenager. If we are under 13, we're going to return child. Anything that is not those two combinations is going to return an adult. Let's head back to my console and see what we have to do. In my console, change the argument in the method call check age to different values. Run the program after each output. What do you notice about the output? Well, let's run the program with 20. According to my age checker here, I should get adult. That's over 20. That means we're going to default to this else statement immediately. Let's see if I'm right. We have adult. If I change it to 18, I should get teenager. Let's try. Hit run, and we get teenager. If the age is less than or equal to 18, ours is. Is it less than 13? No. So it's going to return teenager. If we put anything 13 and under, we should get child. Let's try 13. Let's hit run, and we get child. It looks like this check age method is testing our parameter through various if statements. Let's look at number two. In age checker Java, look at the code in the check age method. What do you notice about the code? I think I've been talking about this all video. This is checking different conditions for the age. If it is less than 18 and it is less than 13, we're going to get child. If it is in the range of 18 to 13, we're going to get teenager. If it is neither of those, it is an adult. What I notice is we can use nested if statements to further test conditions that we want to check. In this case, we can narrow down age a little better by determining if somebody is a teenager or a child. We're doing that by checking to make sure they're first under 18. If they are, if they are furthermore under 13, then they're a child. If not, they're a teenager. Pretty neat piece of code. In the My Console Java method, change the argument in the call to check age to 16 or run the program. What do you notice? Well, we should get teenager because it is less than 18, but it is greater than 13. We should get this else statement to trigger. Well, let's see if we're right, kids. 16. Let's hit run. And we did, we got teenager. Key takeaway from this lesson, kids, is understanding the nested if statement, which means one if function inside another. And this allows us to test multiple criteria and increase the number of possible outcomes. Simply put, it allows us a little better decision-making in our code. In this exercise's code, we checked to make sure it was under two ages to be a child, only one to be a teenager. We also added a statement that returned adult for everything else. Hopefully this video helped you understand nested if statements a little better. As always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye.